your question is the diagram shows a sector AOB of a circle of center O with radius 5 cm and sector angle pi by 3 radians. The line AP and BP are tangents to a circle at A and B. Find the exact length of AP and the area of shaded region. Now understand this, what they have told. They have told AOB is a sector. So this is your sector, this white color. Next, O is the center of radius 5 cm. If OB is 5 cm, that means OA is also 5 cm. Why means? It's a sector. Next. Sector angle is pi by 3 radian. That means this. Next. The line AP and BP are the tangents. The line AP and BP both are the tangents. That means what? Ah. Find the exact length of AP and the area of shaded region. If AP and BP are the tangents, what does it mean? It means that it forms a 90 degree with the radius. So here comes your 90 degree. This. And this is your also 90 degree. Here what we have to do? We have to find out AP and the shaded region. How we can find out? So we will make a construction there. So the construction should be just like this. We will join O and P. This. Just we will join it with a straight line. Now this angle pi by 3 is divided into two parts. That means each angle will be pi by 6 now. So this is pi by 6 and this is also pi by 6. Now if you see, they have told us to find out this. See this, this is your angle. So that means this side is your opposite side. And this we know, already we know that is 5. So what is this? Opposite by adjacent. So opposite by adjacent is your tan. So just we will write that. So here the tan pi by 6. That is equal to opposite is AP. By adjacent is 5. So what is your tan pi by 6? That means 30 degree. 1 by root 3. So we will get 1 by root 3 is equal to AP by 5. Now cross multiply it. So here you will get root 3 AP is equal to 5. So what is your AP? AP is equal to 5 by root 3. Now we know that root 3 should not be a denominator. So therefore we will rationalize it. So here you will multiply and divide it by root 3. So here you will get 5 root 3 by 3 centimeter. So this is your length of your one tangent. Next what we have to do? We have to find out the shaded region. That means what? We will take out the area of a single triangle minus the area of sorry area of a single triangle into two you will get both full minus the area of a sector that means area of shaded region is what two into area of triangle minus area of a sector sector. So here we will put the formula 2 into area of a triangle is half into base into height. So half into base. So here it is 90 degree that means this is your base. Base is 5. 
and this is your height. Height is five root three by three. Five root three by three. Now two and two gone. So what you will get? Five into five is twenty five. So you will get twenty five root three by three centimeter square is the area of a triangle. Next is area of a sector. So area of sector. What is that? So we know the formula. What is that? Theta by two pi. So theta is pi by full theta. We have to take pi by three by two pi. So here it comes two pi into pi r square. Pi and pi gone. So here what you will get? Pi by six. And r square, so r square is twenty five. So you will get twenty five pi by six centimeter square. So now just subtract it. So here we will take twenty five. Ah, huh. so that means twenty five root three by three minus twenty five pi by six. That is equal to we will take the LCM that is six. So here we will take twenty five is also common. So what we will get twenty five by six. Now if six is the LCM two will come here. So that means that is common two root three minus five centimeter square. So this is the area of the shaded design. 